Hi. That there is me, awkwardly vibing to some song. Basically, I'm still not exactly comfortable with speaking directly to a camera. I feel completely off my rocker when doing so, uh, but I think I am getting a bit better. So, I'm going to be doing a little voiceover throughout this video to help you all comprehend what is actually going on. For context, I'm taking a little self-imposed break for the next couple of days because I may have slightly <laughs> burnt myself out, both academically and socially, and I plan to spend a good chunk of this time baking because I've discovered that, apparently, mixing flour and sugar in a bowl really helps me recharge. So here's the game plan. I'm going to be making some cookie boxes for several neighbors who helped my family out a lot during the whole lockdown wham bam earlier this year. Each cookie box is going to contain four types of cookies, chewy chocolate chip, coffee almond, chocolate butter, and vanilla walnut butter. I'm going to bake them all over the course in the next three days, and in my downtime, I'm going to draw some little note tags that will eventually go on top of the boxes once everything is assembled. Well, that's pretty much all I've got for now, so let's get baking. to start this cookie saga with chocolate chip cookies because I hadn't baked in quite a while and next to microwaved mug cakes, this is about as simple and foolproof of a recipe as you can get. Also, as I gather and measure the ingredients, let me just say, I firmly believe that the chocolate chip cookie is the absolute ultimate cookie, followed closely by an oatmeal raisin. I know, I know you're thinking, boo, you boring little tree frog, but I speak the truth, okay? Just, you know, that slightly crispy exterior, and then a wonderfully soft and chewy inside, and then you have those little nuggets of dark chocolate buried throughout. This is about as passionate as you'll ever see me. Anyway, now we mix the melted butter, dark brown sugar, and salt. It's okay, it's okay. We shall journey forward. Okay, <laughs> this one's on me. Uh, I, I am too powerful, it seems. Uh, thankfully, we have two rubber spatulas. Spoiler alert, I break this one too eventually. Um, yeah. It's been about two hours, I grabbed some lunch, took the dogs out, and contemplated life while lying on the ground and staring at the ceiling. Uh, if I'm baking for my friends, I normally just, you know, kind of eye the size of each cookie, which sometimes results in varying sizes, so just to be professional, <laughs> I'm gonna be weighing it out this time. Also, in the recipe video, um, Cooking Tree added chocolate chunks on top of the cookies as well. I ended up opting out on this step since I felt there was already enough chocolate in the cookie dough itself and adding more might throw off the balance of it. Uh. 
Look, they're so beautiful. Watch me almost pull out the oven rack. And fumble the tray of freshly baked cookies. That's actually about most of the footage I have from day one. Here's some lovely cookie shots. And that's where we end the first part of this video. to the mountains I'll be back in a week or two Don't you try to reach me cause I won't pick up for you I've got some things I need to do So we finally arrived at day 3. I won't be going into much detail here since you can really only watch someone sift flour and cream butter so many times before you completely fall asleep. By the way, if you're still here, you're godsend. If you're not, I, I don't know how I was going to finish that sentence, my brain is fried. Anyhow, <laughs> I baked both the chocolate butter cookies and the vanilla walnut cookies this day. They were both really quick and easy cookie recipes. For the vanilla walnut one, most of the mixing was actually done in the food processor, so it barely took about an hour in total until both doughs were resting in the fridge. Then after chilling, all that was left to do was cut and bake. I did run into a small problem, I guess you can say, with the chocolate dough. It was a bit difficult to work with because, uh, probably because the kitchen was quite warm and the dough contained a lot of butter. 
but we ended up making it work. Not the prettiest cookies in the end, but my mom said these tasted the best, so that is a win on my end. <laughs>